Let me walk you through the settings menu of the UG Pen tablet. After installing the drivers, the tablet has a pretty clear instruction on how to install it on your Mac. They have some drivers available on the website. And after that, you will be able to connect your tablet via USB cable. After installing the drivers and uh, setting up your tablet, you have the settings menu where you can adjust the pen settings to adjust the pen pressure to your liking. For example, if you want to be able to move it, the cursor fast or slow. Uh, I like mine pretty fast, so this is why it's over here. Here you can configure your mouse sticks, for example, over here. You can adjust how to configure your pen. For example, mine over here is like the first click, which would be the same as your main click and the secondary click. But you can adjust it here in the menu. After you click on one of the options, you can, for example, allow it to scroll down or configure it in any other way that you like. So they have a pretty extensive way of setting up your pen, which actually works pretty well. So you can adjust the pressure settings over here, which is also a nice feature to set up. So for example, especially if the first time if you're, if you're using it, you would like to adjust the pressures and the sensitivity. And here you have a small area where you can test out yeah, if the pressure is to your liking, I set mine to the default, but yeah, like I said, the sensitivity feels pretty nice. The pen feels pretty light in the hand, maybe a little bit too light to my liking, but the hold is nice and moves nicely across the, the tablet area. And it is very, for the, this amount, very good amount of pressure levels, meaning that it contains 8,192 pressure levels, which I think is almost the same which, for example, Wacom offers. So I think you get a good value. The tilt, uh, which it supports, is 60 degrees. And as you can see, the tablet supports eight short keys, which feel a bit clunky, but I think having eight short keys options is actually pretty nice. Over here, this is your short key area. Here you can adjust all the short keys. We can apply your own custom short keys for the eight short key buttons that you have. I use mine. Let me open up my area. So for example, if I start to draw, the way I use my hotkeys, here I have my drawing uh, program open. Let me select the brush tool. Here you can select any kind of pens that you like. And let's say for example, if you start to draw and the way I use it with short keys that I often use are the hand tool, which allows you to quickly move across your uh, drawing. Another one that I frequently use is a nice feature, the back button. So for example, if you want to undo something, the software often uses combinations in which you have to use the command in combination with a number or a letter or the option or control key or the shift key. Those you can all apply to your short keys, for example, over here, which you allows me to uh, use the control, the command button in any combination with any type of the letters, for example, um, which is a bit more user friendly uh, as opposed to moving both of your hands towards your keyboard. So often I use my command and shift and control and option keys over here. I have the manual uh, of the moving to over here. I have an undo button. And another feature that I often use is the zooming button. Uh, the zooming uh, in and out. If you want to add more details to your drawing, for example. 